What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another awesome video. Guys, today we're going to talk about my top 10 favorite pennies to search for when you're coin roll hunting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with number one. Uh, this is the 1984 Philadelphia Doubled Ear Lincoln Scent. And all you need to do is check out Lincoln, look at his little earlobe right there, and look to see if there's another one right there below it if there is you definitely want to hold on to that coin because it's going to be worth a few bucks uh number two the 1995 p double die all we need to do is look over at liberty this is probably the easiest spot to to figure out if you have the double die and as we zoom in there uh you can definitely see liberty is doubled right there you can see the split serifs uh, another great coin to hold on to it's going to be worth a little bit of money Number three, struck through grease. Now this error happens when they're greasing the dies and then they don't get all that grease removed. And what will happen is it will actually stop the details of the coins from being minted and they turn out all muddy and distorted like this. They're not worth a ton of money, but they are worth a few bucks and it's one that I like to hold on to. Number four, die breaks. Now, as the die gets used more and more, it starts to break down and many times it will even crack. Now, those cracks will actually get minted into the coin and if they're not caught, they actually make it out into circulation and people really, really love these and collect these. So some of them can be worth a little bit of money, especially if they're big, the bigger, the better. Number five, the 1972 Philadelphia double die obverse. This is one coin that most collectors know about. It's the 1972 P doubled die. As you zoom in, this one is very, very obvious, guys. There's the 1972. It's very spread out. It's very noticeable, even on Liberty and God We Trust. This is one that if you find it, woo, put some money in your pocket because collectors go nuts for this coin. Number six, the 1971 P double die obverse. This coin isn't as famous as the 1972 double die, but it is still a double die and collectors love these. Again, you're just looking at the date, Liberty and In God We Trust for the doubling. It's very easy to see there. You can just look for the split serifs. All right, number seven. This is actually going to be a three coin set here. It's the 1998, 1999, and 2000 wide AM. Now on this, all you need to do is flip your coin over to the reverse side, look for the word America, and take a close look at the A and the M of America. If they have a very large space between them, you probably have the wide AM. Finding one of these coins can put a little cash in your pocket. Number eight is the 1992 close AM. Now this is gonna be the complete opposite of the wide AM. So you're looking for your 1992 coins. Those can be P or D. You wanna flip it over to the back side or the reverse side again, looking for America. Now on this one, you want the A and the M that are nearly touching. You don't want the very wide one. And guys, this one can be worth hundreds to thousands of dollars if you can find it. And we have seen uh, several new examples pop up in recent years. Number nine, the 1970S small date. It's also known as the high seven. Uh, so in 1970, the San Francisco Mint actually produced a large date and a small date. The small date being much more rare. Things to look for is a nine that hooks and uh, points to the east. Now, if you were to draw a line from the one to the zero in the date, all those numbers should be pretty much touching that line. The seven will be right there at it. On the large date, it'll be much lower. Also, another way to tell if you have the 1970S small date is the words Liberty will be very muddy. And number 10, guys, is the 1960 penny. I love 1960 because there are so many things that you can look for. There's a bunch of different varieties. You have the large date, you've got the small date, you've got RPMs that you can look for. 
there are the large date over the small date or small date over the large date. There are just so many things that you can find in 1960. Uh, it's one of my favorite years to look for. So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe, share, and post your comments down below. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.